Uh, any other technologies that there's that you, that you want to that you're excited about that, to get me back on that side of tech optimism, or should I jump to my last question? Well, so there, there's one other thing that I, that I think yeah. that people need to think about. And this, again, this is a longer term issue, right? But a lot of what's going on with ICs today are going to lead to how shall I put this? Hybrid people, right? Embedded electronics. Ooh, we're okay. going to be Borg. Right. We're right. going to be Borg long term. All right, talk but, to me. Talk to me for, about this stuff. But for good reasons, right? Okay. So think about you've seen these um, exoskeletons for people who can't walk. Yep. And prosthetics. That, things, yes, yes, yes. That's amazing stuff. Think yeah. about that. You know, you're making people walk that couldn't do it before. There's going to be more of that kind of stuff, you know, whether, again, whether it's a pay, hard pacemaker or, I don't know, you're a diabetic or whatever it is, there's going to be a lot of those kinds of interventions. Um, and I think that's really exciting from a health perspective because what we're, hopefully what we're doing, you know, there's always a negative side to everything, right? But hopefully what we're doing is making people's lives better. Yeah. And that's ultimately what we want technology to do. All right. I remember the, a lot of the exoskeletons that, that started out would really help those people that couldn't walk, the ones that were paralyzed and helping them gain some mobility. But then we started seeing some like industrial type vests that people yep. could wear just to protect their backs. If they're, you know, I think uh, the, uh, an auto factory worker does most of his work like this. Right. And, you know, when he's, when he's under the cars above him and he's, doing some sort of screw driving, things like that. The back pain that, yeah. that that's for eight hours a day is, is pretty intense. So there were these vests. So it's moving slowly from the sort of the medical benefits, which I love into more industrial to protect yeah. workers. Um, sports, I'm seeing some stuff where, you know, you're sort of like giving not, not an advantage, but, but preventing injury, right. things like that. Right. So yeah. All right. You, you win that point. <laughs> the, uh, Oh, the, so, but what you know? What will I have a chip in my head doing other than health monitoring or things like that? Like, is there anything else? Like, am I going to be streaming movies just in my brain and thinking that I'm seeing something at some well, point? People are thinking about that. Yeah. Not, not so much movies, but what if you're blind? Yeah. What if I could tap into your optic nerve? Okay. And 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 you know, with the right technology, let you be able to see again. Put a camera on, on your forehead or wherever, right? And you could walk yeah. down the street and see what's going on. I think I'm getting some. So as I get older, I'm getting some hearing loss too. That oh, would be another, yeah. another another thing one. that would that would be beneficial. Um, it would just be something like to help me remember things too. I think it, that would be helpful. It, we're we're going to become the Borg. I, all right, <laughs> but then I think you know that raises so many questions about you know monitoring and data, <laughs> ethics, and privacy, absolutely. and security, yeah, and absolutely. ethics. We'll we'll get to that point at some point. All right, my final question for you, Jack, sure. is is and this is something that we were thinking about is that. For a long time, we haven't had sort of a tech visionary or to sort of guide, not guide us, but sort of like be that, that innovator, that inventor. You know, Steve Jobs was, was, was an example. Bill Gates, even, you know, from the early days of Microsoft. Um, Mark Zuckerberg with, with Facebook, with Facebook. I mean, we're talking like Steve Jobs is up here and the other guys are, are you know, a little bit lower. <laughs> and I'm trying to think like, we haven't really had that. I mean, some people would argue Elon Musk is that guy, but I think with the Twitter stuff, he's now become more polarizing. Um, it, do we, does the, does the tech world, does the, do we need someone like that? Or have we moved on from that tech guy as a superstar mentality? I don't think we need the superstars, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, I mean, th those guys did what they did when they did it in a new emerging marketplace where people weren't familiar with the tech. And uh, they were evangelists. We always need evangelists. We always need tech evangelists. But we don't necessarily need them at the same level. First of all, there's a lot more diversity now, right? Yeah. So it would be really hard to have those. You know, in, in Bill Gates's days, there was the IBM PC and there was DOS in the early days. And that was it. And it was a whole new platform. And, and people needed evangelizing. Um, now we've got so many different areas. You know, do we have, do we need an evangelist in drones? Do we need another one in, um, quantum? Do we need another one in, you know, the, the next wireless technology? I don't think so. Uh, I, I think there's going to be, there are going to be some of those, but I think there's enough stuff going on that, and people understand tech a lot more about technology yeah. now that I think that'll, that'll go on by itself. Uh, the second piece of that, though, is that um, I'm not sure it's necessarily good that we have those kinds of folks because they tend to uh, not shut down necessarily, but they they you know they suck all the air out of the out of the room. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on that people do some really good stuff on that that doesn't get 
uh, looked at because, you know, Elon Musk just said something on Twitter that, yeah. you know, he shouldn't have. So are we idolizing them in hindsight, maybe? Like maybe we're giving them more reverence in the rearview mirror than maybe when they're doing their stuff? Or is there's there's a lot of worship that goes on while they're doing it? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and look, they make a lot of money for a lot of people, which is a big part of that, right? Yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, they... They wear pants like we do, right? <laughs> they put on a shirt in the morning, hopefully, and, and shoes. No, they have people that do that well, for them. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> hopefully you don't dress them, but okay. Maybe pick out their clothes. Okay. All right, Jack, that's all the time we've got for today. Right. Thanks again for coming in studio and, and being with us here. Thanks. It was great. All right. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, add any comments below. Join us every week for new episodes of Today in Tech. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.